this leads us on inevitably to the urgent question of Brexit. Though I don't have to re repeat the criticisms we all have of the Tories' behaviour that have been echoed in all our debates. Their failures are in plain sight. I just say to the Tories, just in the interest of the country, get out of the way and let us get on with securing a way forward. I, a way forward that will protect our economy, our jobs, and the standard of living of our people. If they don't do that, you know what my preference is. I want a general election. I want it soon. And we're, we're keeping all the options open for democratic engagement on the table. But look, I feel so strongly that these Tories should face the people. Face the people for the way in which they've recklessly put our country's future at risk over the last two years more interested in fighting each other than fighting for this country. On so many fronts, you know the scale of the mess that we will inherit from the Tories. A society whose social fabric has been run down to the point of near dereliction. A struggling, mismanaged economy, vulnerable to another crisis. Past shadow chancellors, have come to conference with warnings about how bad the situation will be that we inherit to lower people's expectations about what can be achieved when we go into government. This shadow chancellor is different. I want you to know, the greater the mess we inherit, the more radical we have to be. <laughs> the The greater the need for change, the greater the opportunity we have to create that change. And we will. We will. The, Tory, the Tories' austerity has been brutal. But whatever has entered the most is that they've tried to take away the dreams, the hope and optimism of our people, especially our young people, that dream of building a better world. That dream, that dream of building a better world and passing it on to your children as previous generations have done. But they failed to understand us. They failed to understand that we have an unwavering faith that together people can change the world. And they need to understand we will not settle for anything less. Yesterday, the Tories, the, well, it was reported in the press that the Tories we're drawing up secret plans for a quick general election. So the message from this conference is, bring it on. Bring it on. We're, we're ready. Whenever, whenever that general election comes, we're ready. We're ready to campaign for victory. We're ready for government. We're ready to build the future. And you know, like Bill Shankly, we'll be proud to call that future socialism, solidarity. Yeah.